In Southeast Asia, plastics are a challenge to take. Roughly 2.5 to 6.7 million tons of plastic waste are produced, used, and thrown compared to a global average of 4.8 to 12.7 million tons. This vaguely translates to a million plastic bottles or 10 million plastic bags used each minute. Then, COVID came. Stringent lockdowns and work from home policies was implemented and the worst is yet to arrive. Polarizing effect took waste plastics to increase and recycling to decrease substantially, while the demand for the hex sector to protect ourselves from the virus rose through. Yet, biggest demand is from the vast e-commerce industry that primarily utilizes polypropylene, high and low density polyethylene, polyethylene terephthalate, and polystyrene to their packaging. All of this rose the plastic generation by 15% from 5,500 tons to 6,300. And worse, these extra tons of waste were generated during the two-month lockdown period only. This is a challenge we must take bold action. Hence, our team would like to extend this gesture by introducing Fruitin. This project helps in treating wastewaters in the region since Southeast Asia is a thriving industry and will continue to be in the following years. So the influx comes in both economy and waste. Our team proudly presents Fruitin Bioabsorbent Pellet treating industrial wastewater threats to treats. What Fruitin offers is a chance for the significant influx of plastic bags a new value, a new end-of-life waste stream by transforming waste threats to solutions. Sustainability of this project is emphasized on the generation of protein and its raw materials. We targeted the synthesis of the pellet derived from fruit peel waste and discarded LDPE plastics. A pellet is very minute capsule-like product, but what it does is very big. Fruitine acts as a bioabsorbent for industrial wastewaters. Bioabsorbent approach is derived from absorption technology, currently being economical and practical, mainly absorbing or keeping heavy metal ions on its surface for wastewater treatments and later retrieval. Compared to conventional adsorbents, adsorption capacity is sufficient as it is a fruit polymer composite, utilizing citrus fruit waste that is studied to have strong affinity to heavy metal ions while keeping it eco-friendly in comparison to carbon-derived and other wastewater technologies. Fruiting is best in terms of cost efficiency, reusability, recyclability, and most importantly, value generation, since it can ultimately reduce carbon footprint by offsetting it with the circularity of raw materials. Thus, we believe fruiting adheres to the global initiatives where wastewater should be considered a sustainable source rather than a burden. Fruiting aligns with the Sustainable Development Goal number 6, ensuring clean and safe water, promising better prospects for wastewater treatment industry post-pandemic.